today's town hall with Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard. You, uh, in the first segment, you were talking about your faith, your Hindu faith, and we have a question from the audience about that. Joseph Ramirez, an audio and visual technician from right here in Austin. Hi, Tulsi. Um, I wanted to ask, what has your Hindu faith brought into your life? And mm -hmm. also, how do you respond to being attacked for being in support of Hindu nationalists? You know, I grew to uh, understand from a young age, uh, being raised in a, a multi-faith home. Uh, my mom's a practicing Hindu, my dad's Catholic. And so for us as kids, we grew up studying and reading from both the Bhagavad Gita as well as the New Testament. So we heard stories about Krishna and Arjuna at night when we were going to sleep, as well as stories about Jesus of Nazareth. But what we learned from a young age from these scriptures was um, that real happiness in life can only be found when you're dedicating your life in the service of God and in the service of others. Truly uh, finding ways, no matter what path we chose in life, to make a positive impact on those around us and to be good stewards of our home, to take care of this planet. Uh, so throughout my life, I have um, done my best in different ways to be able to, to do that, to dedicate my actions, whether it was uh, environmental work in Hawaii as a teenager, uh, running for state uh, house in Hawaii when I was 21 years old, uh, served on the city council, and then of course now in Congress, uh, as well as serving as a soldier uh, in the Army National Guard. To, to, I want to address the second part of your question, though. Um, accusations like the type you mentioned are just another form of Hindu-phobic attacks that, unfortunately, I and so many others Hindus in this country have been on the receiving end of, along with Muslims, along with people of other religions. And it is, it is exactly these kinds of attacks that not only Hindus must stand up and speak out against, but every single one of us, no matter where the attack is coming from or who it is being targeted to, if we want to change this culture of hate and bigotry, every one of us must stand up and speak with one voice to condemn it because an attack on one of us is an attack on all of us. Thank you, Tulsi. Thank you. Congresswoman, I'm gonna ask you a little bit more about this because you made a video celebrating the life of the founder of Hare Krishna, who you called your grandfather and spiritual master. You were raised as part of a movement that split off from Hare Krishna. For those who aren't familiar with this tradition, can you describe your faith as it relates to the Hare Krishna movement? Uh, I follow a branch of Hinduism that is the Gaudiya Vaishnava branch of Hinduism. And the, the teachings and the, the practice um, that I live in my everyday life and that are taught uh, by not only my teachers, but their teachers and their teachers and their teachers before them, uh, is, is essentially what I, what I talked about, is this practice of what's called bhakti yoga and karma yoga. Bhakti yoga is, is uh, developing a loving relationship with God. It's a very deeply uh, personal relationship. Uh, and karma yoga is seeing how can... How can I dedicate my energy and skills and time uh, into the service of others? Uh, and there are so many ways we can do that. I was talking with someone last night, a young person who was saying, well, I don't, I don't know that I want to get into politics or the military, but I know that I want to be of service with my life. And, and this practice of karma yoga, everyone, I mean, people are familiar with the term karma. Term means action. So the actions that we take, this means using those actions uh, in a way that is of service and has a positive impact on those around us, whether we ch work in business or education or healthcare or, or anything, any, any of these principles that are universal principles, not limited to Hinduism, uh, can be applied in, in every one of our lives.